Thank you, Lord. It's hard to sit still. Yes. Yes, it is. After hearing Brother Pete, Brother Mark. That's right. Well, yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You got a bone. You know, your bone, your, your bone just get fired. Oh, yeah. Yes. When it happens, you Fire can't sit still. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, when I'm at home, uh, I've just got a few people at my mercy. Uh, you know, uh, but here, I want to be able to bless you all. Yes. And the only way I can do that is to yield to the Spirit of God. Yes. 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 This sister talked about being healed. Uh, my body has went through a lot since I've been down here, and it's all for the better. Amen. Uh, when I came down here uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was it, it was difficult for me to walk from here to the house over there. My God. Uh, my back and my body would it would just it would just wore out. Yeah. Tom kept telling me, Dad, you need to exercise more. Well, you can't exercise if you can't walk, though. <laughs> but something has touched me, and I'd like to think that. Brother <laughs> Johnson, we know God can cut a shower. Yeah, Brother Pray Johnson asked me yeah. to pray for him the other day. Amen. He said, pray for me right now. And we did. Me and Brother uh, brother Don here. And he had uh, some things wrong with his heart. And they was afraid they were going to have to put some stents and things in. And I'm going to tell a little bit of his testimony. When he, went, uh, when he went to get those tests done, they began to look. There wasn't nothing there. Wonderful what our God can do. All right. Brother Marlowe started on something right. earlier today and uh, uh, tonight, and he started talking about those two trees. Amen. And I love that book. Amen. <laughs> I yes, love the Bible. Do. But when you get into that first part of it, I'm really intrigued with it. Amen. God has dealt with me about those things, but I've never heard them going into before. Amen. But you know, we're in the uh, when you give your life to God. You're born to this world, Amen. and when you're born, you're born to die. Amen. If the word of God comes to you, and you hear the spirit of God talking to you, and, and you yield to that, and you're, you're converted there, Amen. you're in a different place then. Amen. Uh, Brother Marlowe talked about that Garden of Eden. Yes. When you press through and get the baptism of the Holy Ghost, Brother, you're in that Garden of Eden. You're in that Garden of Eden. You're in that Garden of Eden, and you have access either to the tree of good and evil Amen. or to the tree of life. Amen. That's our choice that we have every day. Amen. You know, the, uh, Israel had that choice. Yes, but uh, I think in one place in the scriptures it said, you uh, do honor me with your lips, with your heart. Your heart is full from me. You know, they, they, they loved it when the, the latter and the former rain come in and the crops were bumpered and they had all that they wanted and they, they loved it then. Yeah. But during that other time, when it come time to pay for that, then their hearts wasn't with God then. They began to grumble. They began to carry on. We've had a wonderful, wonderful convention. Yes, yes. Hey, Brother wonderful. Pete talked about being at home. Wonderful. I've got a room like that. <laughs> you know, every once in a while I crawl in there. Yes. But I can't get your children to God. Amen. And, and I've, I've prayed and I've talked to God and I've studied. And the Spirit of God just come in there and the tears come down. But you know, when I come in here, when I get near his children, when I get around his saints, there's something that draws me. There's something that comes out. You know, the scriptures when it says, uh, forbid not, forbid not the gathering together. Brother, it's time. Uh, to come together. It's time that we can pull that strength. The testimony of this sister is healed. That, 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 uh, that, that has braced my faith up. That has caused me to have more faith than that. You know, when we come together and we tell each other how God has blessed you. And if God's blessed you, you need to talk about it. Amen. If God has given you something, you need to talk yes. about it. Oh, yeah. You need to bring it out. That's the reason he gave it to you. Yeah. God didn't give you the Holy Ghost for you to sit down somewhere Amen. and fold your hands and say, well, Amen. sooner or later, God's going to come back. No, no, no. He didn't give it to you for that reason. No. But we're to be a light to this world. Yeah. We're to be something different. When he changes you, 
When he gets a hold of you, then you're to become, Paul says, there's a new creature. Oh, God, I love that new creature. I love that new creature. You got a new creature in you. Are you going to kill him by feeding him that same old thing that you had? Amen. No, we want to be able to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. There's two of you there. There are two beings there. What are you going to do with me? <laughs> there's, a, there's an old, uh, back home, there's a story about an old Indian that had two dogs, one of them black and one of them white, and big old dogs. Somebody asked him, so which one of them's the strongest? He said, whichever one you feed the most. <laughs> you, got two, you got two of you in there. Yeah. Yeah. Which one of you is going to be the strongest? Yeah. 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 The one that you feed the most. Yeah. Yeah. If, 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 you, uh, if you dine on this world yeah. in all its pleasures, yeah. in all its treatments, yeah. gadgets, yeah. then you can get on a few computers and be gone for a week. Yeah. Just get lost in it. Well, what are you feeding yourself then? Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. They never, man, a computer is a blessing, but it's one of the worst curses Amen. that Amen. ever comes. Amen. 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 You know, surely when uh, the computers got going full force like they are now, I know that scripture when it talks about Noah, it said that the world <laughs> then, their mind was constantly on evil. When you get that computer, if you talk about being evil, there's some of the most evil, worst things that you can ever get a hold of. If you've got children, you better guard them. You better guard them close on that computer. Amen. And on that computer. Because there's predators that do nothing but but walk the airways, getting a hold of little girls or little boys and getting them out, and then taking care of them. That happens. That's part of our everyday life. Now, if you let your mind get absorbed in that, you're feeding the wrong tree. Oh, you're right. 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 Watch your children. Your children aren't old enough now to, to be able to make that decision. But you as a parent are responsible for that child. Amen. You watch that child, what that child putting in his mind. You, you, you want to be sure whether they're putting in something corrupt or whether they're putting in something wholesome and good. The, the uh, thing that we go for, and we have to get rid of that old, there's a tree there that <laughs> Brother Marlowe talked about, of good and evil. The day that you eat of it, you're going to die. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. You'll die. If you feed on that tree more than you do the tree of life, you don't forget that other tree. Don't forget those other leaves that Brother Marlowe talked about. Oh, How that it was for the, 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 the leaves were for the healing. Yeah, healing of the nation. I love that song. It's got a lot of revelation that we just had God come out of. Yeah, yeah. Where it talks about that fountain. Oh, yeah. Thank, yeah. thank God. Yeah. Fountain of clear crystal water. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what we drink of. When we drink of that and eat of that tree, yeah. then yeah. there's no problem. Amen. There's a poem that my mother wrote that uh, a lot of what was said tonight would fit to it. It's called The Two Me's. I have me on this side and another me on that. They argue over everything. Sometimes it's tick for tat. This one says you forgot to pray. That me says just wait. You can pray some other time. You're tired and it's getting late, so I snuggle down on my pillow, and when I'm almost gone, this me shouts, get up from there. You know you're doing wrong. So when I'm up and on my knees, that me says, I know you would. But you can cut it short. It'll do just as good, just as much good. It's that way on everything. I'm almost at my wit's end. Yes, I know that me is my enemy, and this me is my friend. So I'll exercise this little me until he's big and strong. Then I'll overcome that evil me, and he won't tag long. I'll build a fence of good deeds with that me outside, you see. And this little me will just grow and grow and become all of me. Oh,